Steam forms a key driving agent for most of the MSME processes. Steam is used either directly in the process or for indirect heating. In the heating process, condensate is formed as a result of steam transferring a portion of its heat energy, known as latent heat, to the product, line or equipment being heated. Condensate is the liquid formed when steam passes from the vapor to the liquid state. To understand the significance of condensate and flash steam, let us consider the process of jet dyeing machine. Jet dyeing machines are used for pressurized dyeing process. The process uses steam generated by a boiler to heat the product. As the steam heats the product, it loses its energy and condensate is formed. Conventionally, the condensate generated in the process is drained out from the process. Thus, the discharged condensate which has a fair amount of heat is wasted. An energy-efficient alternative is the use of condensate recovery system. The condensate recovery system involves in feeding the condensate back into the boiler. The return of condensate to the feed tank reduces the total effective dissolved solid in feed water and therefore the blowdown losses in the boiler. The pressured power pump powered unit is the most significant component of the system. The unit consists of a receiver, an inlet isolation valve, a strainer, the body shell containing a float mechanism, air inlet valve, exhaust valve, inlet and outlet check valves. When condensate flows through the inlet isolation valve to the pump body, the float will become active and will rise. When the float has risen to its upper tripping position, the linkage mechanism snaps upwards over center. The energy in the spring is released as the push rod is moved upward to simultaneously open the motive steam inlet valve and close the exhaust valve. Steam flow through the inlet valve increases the pressure within the body and closes the inlet check valve. When the pressure in the body shell exceeds the back pressure, it opens the discharge check valve and forces out the condensate in the discharged line. The cycle is repeated when the condensate is completely pumped out and fresh stream of condensate flows into the tank. When high pressure condensate is discharged from steam traps into low pressure condensate return lines, the excess energy is released in the form of flash steam. This flash steam is stored into the flash vessel and can be used to heat boiler feed water or for low pressure steam application. I have been running a condensed heat recovery system for about 2 years. There is no kind of no maintenance, no kind of operating cost. For those who have not been put in, I have this message for you that you energy ka loss hoga aur fuel ka bhi loss hoga. Usse aapko monitoring loss bhi hoga. The implementation of the condensate recovery system leads to 2 to 3 percent reduction in specific fuel consumption, 15 to 20 percent saving in annual RO water consumption, reuse of sensible heat which would be otherwise lost in condensate. The installation of the system will allow 80 to 100 percent recovery of condensate and flash steam formed during the jet dyeing and the zero zero process. To understand the cost benefit analysis, let us take a unit using 1.5 lakh liters of water per day in indirect heating process. The installation of the condensate recovery system would lead to a fuel saving by around 500 tons and water saving of around 1000 kiloliters. This implies an energy saving of 250 to 280 tons of oil equivalent of energy, monetary savings of rupees 20 to 25 lakhs, and GHG emission reduction of 1,000 to 1,200 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. The installation will require an investment of rupees 14 to 16 lakhs, which can be recovered within one year. The performance of the system depends on the performance of the steam traps, which should be able to trap live steam and separate steam from condensate. The system can be implemented in all process industries using steam for indirect heating purposes. If implemented in 100 units, 
This technology implementation can save 28,000 tons of oil equivalent of energy per annum and 1,10,000 tons of carbon dioxide per annum.